What exactly are you doing? I like the scent. The scent is nice. Ooh, then go ahead and eat it. Eh? Mm. Other people are savoring more edible things in Kegabulu Polish. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. Let me leave this place before you spray this catastrophic spray. Please. Catastrophic, and you've already finished the spray for me. For now, I call you. Nonsense. Having breakfast. Are you blind? Breakfast? With a bottle of what I don't know and bread. A bottle of what you don't know? Mm -hmm. You don't know what Zobo is again, right? Oh! <laughs> Alright. No, but wait, wait, wait. What, what, what sort of combination is this? Bread and Zobo? The same way you're having bread and tea. This is my tea. This is what I want and this is what the baby is craving for. Yeah. Oh. Uh, This is heaven. Anybody that is not having this thing is missing. Wow! Mm. 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 I think I'll see you when I get back. I've lost my appetite. <laughs> you think I'll beg you? I'm wasting your time. Are you serious? <laughs> hey. Okay now. We'll talk later. Eh? Chinaya is a very stupid girl. Oh. So she left her husband because of one small girl that used mini skirts to seduce him. <laughs> Me, I can never leave my husband for anybody, not for anything. We die there. Instead, I'll find out what that woman is doing and double it. Yes. Me, leave my husband for what? It's not even possible. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, I don't mention it. I'm glad I drove you home. <sighs> yeah, I guess I'll see you tomorrow then. <laughs> okay, yeah. sir. All right. Thank you. Drive safe. Okay, I will. Thank you.
What are you eating? Pancanel. Be careful, son. Uh, no, thanks. Where in God's name did you find palm kernels from? Hmm? From the booker sellers now. They usually make bangas too, so I push them one after the other to bring the seed for me. Hmm. Hmm. And they agreed to go through the stress of cracking palm kernel shells just to give you seeds, eh? Why not? They are women like me, so they understand. It's not like it's free. I paid for it. <laughs> yeah, Gazia. Hmm? Please, be careful with what you eat. One of these days, you're going to eat something that will kill our child in your womb and believe me, I will not forgive you. Ha! God, oh. Is that what you wish for your child? No, it's not. But let's be honest. If you continue eating all sorts of things, what is the guarantee that it will not happen someday? This is what I want to eat. This is what I crave for. And that's what the baby wants to eat. Ah, uh ah. -uh. What is your problem, Seth? No, what's, what's your problem? Did you hear yourself? Yes. This is, this is what the baby wants to eat. Baby on our take. Eh? No, no, no. Baby on our take. What happened to all the other nutritious foods available? Oh. Just keep complaining. Every time complain, complain, complain. Ah. Yeah, guys. Yeah. Ah, what is it again? Yeah, guys. Yeah, guys. Yeah, guys. Yeah, guys. Ah, ah. Why are you screaming my name? What is it? What have you done inside our bedroom? Eh? The place is stinking like some decomposing corpse. Corpse? Yeah. Hey. Since when? Wait, 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 wait. Have you been using the toilet without flushing it? Ah, never. I've not used that toilet since today. I wanted to use it, the whole place was smelling. So I decided to use a bucket. Inside it, I've been urinating and defecating mm -hmm. since today. You did what? Brought out the bucket. Hey! <laughs> yeah, guys, yeah. Is that not the bucket I usually use? Oh, you usually use it? I didn't know. Eh? You don't like the shower? <laughs> eh, honey, please, I've been waiting for you to come back. Hmm? Please help me flush this thing. Uh, you know, I, I've been trying to lift it, but I can't. You know my condition. Condition? Honey, please, now, come and help me out. Are you not the one complaining that this whole place is smelling? Eh? Let's for me smelling perfect. Honey? Honey, please come and help me flush this thing. This place is smelling. How come I'm not perceiving it? Honey? This is exactly what I don't like. What sort of stupid irony is this, eh? How does a woman go from a chick to a freaking rag doll? Eh? How? This is not the same. Eh? Eating pumpkin and candy nuts, yake. Good thing you're here. If you know what is good for you, better go up there, clean up the room and that bucket and you go and start now, please. Just come and help me carry the bucket and flush it now, eh? So that I'll mop it and use the air freshener. Simple Jesus. thing. Yeah, guys, yeah. Can you even hear yourself? No, no, what else do I have to do to you, eh? Are you the first woman in this world to get pregnant? Hey, please don't shout at me. Okay. Don't shout at me, oh. Am I the one that got myself pregnant? Okay. This is not the woman that I married. Honestly, it's a totally different character. Yeah? What happened to the sweet, sexy, curvy, smashing, and very well packaged Yagazi that I used to know? You entered her without protection. You released your almighty yogurt in her, and she got pregnant. That is what happened to her. Am I supposed to act like someone that is not pregnant? You know what? I'm not going to stand there trade words with you. Please go up there and clean up that mess. And for the records, you're freaking me out. I'm freaking you out? Yes. Me, I'm freaking you out? Of course you are. When you were making love to me, pouring inside of me, stretching your body, acting like you were going to lose your breath, I was not freaking you out. 
If I go and lift that bucket and suffer a miscarriage, ha, the blood of your child will be on your head. I tell you, brother, uh, you don't know what you have in Yagazi. Mm. You don't. <laughs> Who's Ojugu, my brother? You won't understand. Yagazi does not want to Gazi for me. Hmm? Yes. Have you seen what she looks like lately? But she's pregnant. <laughs> Heavily pregnant. My point exactly. She is pregnant, not mad. <sighs> well, I'm sure you know how pregnancy turns most women into a shadow of themselves. I'm sure that by the time she gives birth, she's going to come back to that Yagazi that you used to know. <laughs> that one, <laughs> I very much doubt if she will be any different from what she looks like right now. Hmm? Yagazi doesn't really care at all about her looks, nothing. Hmm? That is why uh, this uh, Jessica and uh, Mattel brother. <laughs> Wait. Two years into your marriage, you already have another woman somewhere. <laughs> Who's Ajugu? You're a man like me. Eh? You know how these things work. You see, I didn't start out planning to pick up somewhere, but you know, somewhere along the line, yeah, you know, mother, be our own no, so, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> it's just like in a kitchen. Eh? There's a kitchen, but you can't have one pot in a kitchen. So now, men are kitchen and women are pots. Naturally. Hmm. <laughs> but wait, hmm? are you really serious that you have another woman to men? One day. I am not speaking Swahili. Read the handwriting on the wall. There is now. You know, occasionally, some, you know, you have to keep body and soul. This is the stress of life is much. <laughs> Men has come. <laughs> Don't worry. When you get married, I'll know how you handle the situation. <laughs> Yagazir, what was the meaning of that clumsy stunt you pulled back at the dining table? Eh? Must you always behave like some poorly trained village girl that comes from the most remote part of this country? Must you- But I said I'm sorry now. Must you continue to insult me? Eh? You should understand that these are the things that come with pregnancy. Oh, really? 
Okay, I've got news for you. Hmm? I watched my mom when she was pregnant. And she didn't behave anything like you're doing now. Ephraim, you're the third child of your mother. By the time she got pregnant for Uzo and Sopo, she had already been pregnant three times. You cannot compare her to a first-timer. Different women, different bodies, different reactions. All right. Continue defending yourself. Hmm? I can see that you like the way you look. Hmm? And you have no plans to change whatsoever. It's okay. But let me sound this note of warning to you. Hmm? Don't ever try that nonsense that you did in the living room again. Don't! I'm going to No. Honey, I said I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Hmm? I'm sorry now. Uh, you're still here? Oh yes. Uh... You've not left already. <sighs> I didn't go today again. It will be tomorrow. Okay. Mm. Uh, Uzo, I am sorry about what happened earlier. I, I couldn't control it. I'm sorry. It's fine. Um, I think my brother is the one you should be worried about. Did he say something to you? No, he didn't. But if you keep making him lose attraction for you, I'm afraid I don't know what he might do. I'm his pregnant wife. How can he lose attraction? I would prefer not to interfere. Uh... Uzo, listen. If there's anything you know that I should know, please tell me. Nothing at all. It's, it's just a little advice. Are you sure? Yeah. How are you? I turn on the TV, I mean, I was just busy with my phone. Yeah. Yeah, Gazi, what is it again? I can't sleep. Ha! Huh. Is everything all right? How can everything be all right when I can't sleep? So what is it? Oh. The baby needs massage. Chaluka, did I hear you well? The baby needs massage. Yes, the baby needs massage. Hey! A baby that is still inside the womb needs massage. Okay, then pick up because I, I need to get some sleep. I had a long day, Adio. Oh, what did I do to deserve this wrong now, eh? I'm telling you that the baby needs massage and you don't even care, eh? This is your dream is not fair. It's not <laughs> fair. If you know you're not ready, why didn't you use condom? Okay. What do you want me to do? Come on, start, uh, start rubbing my tummy. Start touching it. And for how long am I supposed to rub your tummy? I don't know until the baby is okay. Really? Mm. So how will you know when the baby is satisfied? I don't know. Can you just start first? Eh? You've not even started. You're, you're already talking about the end. Mm. Stop now. Do you want to enjoy me? Take it easy. Just take it slowly so I can sleep. Maybe I can sleep now. Just continue slowly. <laughs> yes, so. <laughs> We'll definitely be there. <laughs> All right. Rachi, baby. All right. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> well, I suppose that's uh, Rachel that's inviting you to the cocktail party that Rubino is hosting, right? Yes. And I have already given her my word. We'll be there. In fact, there we will be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, that's... Uh... 
That was the one thing that hasn't really changed about you, your love for parties. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no leave, no transfer. Even if I'm carrying the entire generation in my womb, I'll still go there. <laughs> we'll be there, life and direct. Honey, let me help you out. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm in a very good mood. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yaga yeah. So you're already leaving? Yes. Mm -hmm. See you enjoy yourself. I am um, half. Have some uh, juicy popo. No, I'll, I'll, I'll pass. Popo is not really my thing like that. Are you serious? Yeah. It's sweet though. Mm. Are you sure you don't want to have? No, no, I'll pass. Okay. What do you say so? Suffering. You can say that everyone knows that I am suffering. But it's just for a couple of months more. So just chill. Just chill. When you're drunk, water, I don't think I can survive the rest of those months with Yagazi. I am tired. Just calm down. Eh? First pregnancy is usually like that. Wait, <laughs> wait. Sounds like somebody is speaking from experience. No, 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 don't go there. I go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. I see what you're trying to do. I see what you're trying to do. Don't go there. Come clean up. Come on, go to work. Come on, go to work. Go to work. <laughs> Later now, we'll see one picture on I'm Facebook. Not, I'm not like you. <laughs> What sin did I commit to deserve this kind of punishment? Eh? Now I'm wondering, are other men suffering like this in the hands of their pregnant wives? Eh? Can you know they have one other day I've become? Look at this fool, please. Yagazie. Yagazie. Ah, what is ah. it? Ah, is the house on fire? Of course, the house is on fire with the domestic mess that you left downstairs. Which mess? Who? The pop up pills and all the other rubbish there. Oh, honey, I was tired. I decided to come upstairs and rest. Listen, I don't have time for your shenanigans. Go downstairs and clean that mess. Please. Honey, I'm tired now, eh? I just want to rest some more. Oh, maybe you can help me. You can help me clean it up, please. Clean? As what? As my darling husband. Listen, I don't want to get angry with you. Hmm? If you know what's good for you, go downstairs and clean that rubbish. And I mean now. Honey, I'm tired. I just want to rest, eh? Just help me and clean it up. Looks like I made a mistake of getting you pregnant.
he didn't come home last night. You're just coming home. Does it look like I'm just coming home? Well, you didn't sleep in this room. Well, because there are so many rooms in this house. I waited for you till 9 to 7 p.m. <laughs> what is this, love? Are you now my personal timekeeper? Are you seeing another woman? Would you blame me if I was? So you're seeing another woman? Yeah, guys, yeah, Biko, 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 Biko. It's a little too early in the morning for this kind of argument, eh? I don't have the time nor the energy for your stupid questions and nagging. Nagging? Chiefren, so I'm nagging. What does Is that it what look you're like telling me? me? So what does it look like? This line of reasoning bothers or nagging. Excuse me. Excuse you. Excuse you. You come back and tell me where you're coming from. When did you start keeping late nights? What's that supposed to mean? I'm nagging. I, I don't I don't get it. I'm nagging. It's not your fault. You come back here and tell me where you where, where you slept last night. I'm nagging. Did you hear the doorbell ring? <coughs> oh, what a surprise. Well, I showed up at my place impromptu. Oh, there's no problem. I tried calling you, but your line wasn't connecting. Are you serious? Yes, sir. Well, I didn't hear the phone ring. this file for you. You left it at the office. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I totally forgot. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. I will... I'll get going now. What's the rush? Please, have a seat. Let me at least get you something to drink. There is nothing to drink in this house, so everything has finished. It's fine, sir. I'm actually in a hurry. All right, in that case, let me see you off. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Is that your wife? Yeah. <laughs> she must really love you for her to be this possessive. Oh, please don't mind her. The wala is too much. <laughs> well, that is how most pregnant women do. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope you won't trouble your husband when you get pregnant. Hell no. I am not an everyday kind of woman. Ooh, Me, okay. I am going to still be hot at nine months pregnant, weight triplets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I like the sound of that. Yes. Clearly, she's a staff from his office, who is probably under him. But how did she get the house address? Has she been here before? <laughs> Who is she? Is everything all right? Who is she? Who? Oh, Jessica, my secretary. Thank God she brought me this file. See, otherwise I would have faced some serious query at the office on Monday. Ephraim, don't even try to deviate. You obviously know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Gazir, please. Please. How did she get to know your house address? Hello? It's not rocket science. From my complimentary card, of course. And if you hadn't blocked her number, I would have at least known that she's coming. Your secretary. Complimentary card. Yes! Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Am I not supposed to be the one who's pissed off here? How dare you tamper with my phone and block out numbers that you know nothing about? Your actions would have cost me a query 
but for her generosity and smart reasoning by bringing these files here. You're yelling at me because of her. I haven't even started yet. If I'm, are you yelling at me because of your secretary? Yeah, guys, yeah. Please, in very simple terms, I don't have time for this. I don't. What is it this time? My fingers are aching me. Your fingers are aching you? Yes. Hmm. So what do you want me to do? Massage it. Can't you see that I'm busy? Huh? But you still have tomorrow. It's not like you're going to use all day. Hmm? I have cold. That's why my fingers are, are paining me. Have you taken your drugs? Yes. It's just a mild cold. It's all right. I'll massage them on one condition. Condition? Huh. Okay, no problem. You win. Thank you. I invited Jessica over for lunch. Hmm? And please, comport yourself. Hmm? Jessica? That's your secretary? Exactly. That's my way of saying Thank you to her, you know, for saving me from that impending disaster. Hmm? It's okay, no problem. Can you massage me now? <laughs> Careful. I think it's easy. Why are you being too it's soft? Me. Yes. Yeah, yeah massage it very well. Ah, if I was too hard, no, you will complain. No, I'm being too soft and you're still talking. <sighs> some music to soothe your nerves while the massage session is going on. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I could tell you're an amazing cook from how this food smells. Of course. <laughs> so how many months now? Seven months. Oh, that's nice. You're very beautiful. Mm, thank mm -hmm. you so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's women supporting women. Exactly. Only women can understand that. Right. Okay, please. Can we now eat? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. I know you like these parts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Mm, beautiful. Like it? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Today you okay? Mm, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Are you sure? Mm -hmm. You want water? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <coughs> sorry, honey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. mm. 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 Ah, okay. <laughs> Enjoy. Sorry about that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness, seriously, your wife will make a good actress, I promise. The thing is, all of you women are all the same, all hopeless drama queens, especially when you're all pregnant. Hell oh. no. 
I would never be like that. <laughs> <laughs> me, I would change the situation and not the situation would change me. Indeed, please. only time will tell. Oh. Remember what I said, only time will tell. Please. After you. <laughs> What could they be talking about? There's something fishy about this too. This is no longer a boss and secretary kind of thing. I can't be convinced otherwise. <laughs> it's like you saw her off to her house. <laughs> yeah, guys, yeah. What was the meaning of that embarrassment today? What embarrassment? You're asking me. You eating with your hands. And what is wrong with eating with my hands? Hey. What has this pregnancy turned you into? An expectant mother. That is what it has turned me into. Hey. So since when did you start eating with your hands? Whichever way I, I eat is none of anybody's business. That is what the baby wants. You know what? You're impossible. <laughs> What's funny? Ah. <sighs> Are you still attending the cocktail party with me? What's that supposed to mean? You're dressing. Hmm? This thing looks like some cheap ashebi. How about? Well, that's what I'm comfortable in. <laughs> there is no way you are attending that party with me dressed like this. Eh? Please go and change into something more elegant. Ah, hey! Are you supposed to tell me what to wear or what I'm comfortable in? Eh? I am the one that is pregnant, not you. Okay, you know what? Uh, I'm no longer interested in going. Eh? I'm simply going to place a call to Ubaino and tell him that something came up. You can go there. Alone? No, if I'm not going there alone, oh, we'll go there together as husband and wife. I've already called Rachel oh, and I've given her my word. Call alone. Rachel again and change your word. What's even your problem? If I'm, we're going there together. Oh. Don't even joke with me. What's that supposed to mean? Alone? Hello, Irish Cream. How are you? Did you get the message I sent you? Alright, good. I'll meet you outside the gate. It's a long story. I'll tell you once you get here, okay? You should have just told me it wasn't about my dressing. You just didn't want to go to the party with me. Well, you were sleeping, so I went alone. Alone? Mm-hmm. If I'm alone? Yes? This doesn't look like alone to me. What? Are you now monitoring me? Monitoring you? Uh-huh. If I'm, I was worried about you. Oh. And I called Rachel to confirm. And she told me you were at the party. However, you were there with another woman. She was curious on why you were there with another woman and not me. She was curious. Has Rachel seen you lately? Hmm? Yes. Has she? Now let me explain something to you. Hmm? People attend parties looking their sweetest and hottest. 
They don't go there to advertise to the whole world that they are pregnant. Hmm? Well, you see, I'm sorry. I can't attend a party or any other serious function with you looking like this. But you can go to the party with your secretary. Yeah, Gazir. Biko, I am tired. And I need to sleep. Pregnant. Are you sure this pregnancy is mine? What sort of stupid question is that? Because I sleep with you while you're married, you think I'm a loose girl? That's not what I'm insinuating. I just want to be sure, coming from you, that this is mine. Of course, it's yours. I haven't slept with any other person since I met you. Besides, why are you looking so confused? We talked about a day like this and you said you would marry me. Who's mm. <laughs> against it? I don't care how Yagazi takes it. Eh? That woman has become a big disgrace to me. Eh? A complete embarrassment to me. Why? Listen, I need a woman eh, that I can show off to the world. Someone I can attend functions with, you know, birthday parties, you know, make some sweet memories, take some pictures, you know, record some videos, you know, that sort of thing. And Yagazi no longer fits that description. Honestly, I don't find her desirable in that aspect. Oh, -ho. as if I haven't seen other pregnant women before, right? No, I won't understand. Man, water. But of course, yes, I'm going to bring this other woman into my house because right now she's scaring my child. Yagazi will have no other option but to accept her that way. Simple. The only thing is, I've already made plans before to even get married to Jessica, but not now. I'm not prepared to marry her right now. Uh -uh. Apple pie. Yes, baby. This is going to be your room henceforth. Huh? You will be sharing this bed with me. <laughs> Baby, hmm? and her, the three of us in this room, that's crazy. Well, if you don't want her here, I can always send her down to the guest room. That's better, because the three of us on this bed. Baby, no, that would be wild. Your wish is my command. She won't stay here with us. Hmm? Um, babe, mm -hmm. which means I get to have you all to myself. What do you think you're doing? Oh, <laughs> um, now that you are here, please, can you help us take down your remaining things downstairs? Because I and my husband have come to an agreement that you will be staying in the guest room downstairs. What kind of a woman are you? He has not even dropped a bottle on your head and you're already calling him your husband. You just arrived and you're already touching my things. Yeah, 
She has the right to. I own this house and I've given her the rights to do whatsoever she wants, including moving your things out of the room. Ephraim, what's, what, what's the meaning of all this? Are you asking me? Henceforth, you're restricted from entering this room because you no longer have any business with it. Hmm? I and my new pregnant wife will occupy it now. Ephraim, I am your wife. She, she's just your concubine. Wait. Did you just say your new pregnant wife? Something you want to tell me? Hmm. On the contrary, I have something I want to ask you. Something I can't bring myself to understand. Let me ask you. What joy are you deriving separating a pregnant woman from her husband? <laughs> I did not separate you from your husband. You pushed him to look outside. And while he was looking, he saw me, and I saw him too. Surely, you know what it is when people are in love. They don't care about any other thing. Oh, you think Ephraim, my husband, loves you? Huh? He's only attracted to your sexy body. That's while your sexy body lasts. Look, you can't scare me, okay? It's not my fault you decided to look tattered and unkept because you're pregnant. It's not my fault that your husband, no, I mean, our husband, <laughs> decided to make me fall in love with him. And it's certainly not my fault that I got pregnant and he decided to do the right thing. Huh? See, I don't have a problem with my husband getting another wife. But I have a problem if that wife tried to drive I and my husband apart. <laughs> like I earlier said, I did not separate you from your husband. And for the record, you see this girl here, huh? has no intention to look like you, ever. Yes, love, what's up? Apart from this pregnancy, do you intend to get married to me someday? <laughs> well, love, why are you asking me these questions all of a sudden when you know we made plans to that effect? I know, but those were mere words that were said during pleasure. I don't know if they hold water or not. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the expression, curiosity killed the cat? So why are you asking these questions now? Maybe, I just want to be sure that our union is built on love and not on necessity or physical attraction. Hmm. All right, come here, look at me. Have I ever complained that I didn't like anything about you? Your personality? Your body? 
The way you jiggy this thing. <laughs> so maybe I gotta smack your ass one more time tonight and you'll feel more convinced, eh? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Naughty girl. <laughs> Trouble in paradise. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Usually eat before you go to work. She couldn't make breakfast for you. Well, change is the only thing that is constant in life. Indeed. Ephraim, you have turned into something I can't recognize. Hmm. Same way you've turned into a woman that I cannot recognize. Huh? Look at you. What have you become? From your hair, to your skin, to your sense of dress, and everything has fallen down to ground zero. And what's even worse, you now do irritating things everywhere, anytime, irrespective of whether we have a guest or not. Ephraim, I am pregnant, that's why. Exactly my point, Yagazie. Yeah, you're pregnant, not mentally deranged. Huh? Are you the first woman in this world to get pregnant? Have you taken a look at Rihanna, Beyonce? They still maintain the hourglass figure despite carrying baby bumps. Those are pictures, not real life. Those pictures have gone through a series of editing before they are posted online. No, I don't care. It's either you're sexy and hot or nothing. Hmm. Sexy and hot or nothing. Have you taken a good look at yourself? Hmm? Sexy and hot or nothing. Was this how you were with the first time we met? Look at your nipples. They are no longer hard. Your chest has fallen. Look at your tummy. It's beginning to come out. You're beginning to have pot belly. You're telling me sexy or nothing. Wake up. Mm. Huh. Baby, oh, good morning. No, 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 no. Good night. Hmm? Don't tell me you haven't woken up from sleep all through today. Today? I don't understand. Huh? Baby, you're already dressed for work. Baby, I'm sorry. I cannot go downstairs and make breakfast for you. Breakfast? Huh? Can you hear yourself? This is past five in the evening. I just got back from work. Ha. Huh. Oh, baby, this pregnancy thing is not easy. I'm even still feeling sleepy. Yeah, I'm sorry. Your breath is not smelling fresh at all. I've even brushed your mouth today. No, hold on, if you haven't brushed it. Have you even had your bath at all today? Babe, you will not understand. You will not understand. I won't understand. The same person that promised she was going to continuously look hot and sexy even when she's pregnant. I see me, I won't understand. You're all the same. Yeah, by the way, I haven't seen Yagaz here since I got back. Hey, I guess she went out not too long ago. Really? Yes, baby. Well, okay, that's unlike her. Because I can't remember the last time she stepped out of this house. <laughs> baby, hmm? I guess I made her too jealous and the house became uncomfortable for her. <laughs> <laughs> babe, seriously. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to be distracted. I'm enjoying the program. What treats me? Okay. Watch your thing. Good evening. Whoa. 
Baby. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch the program with me. <laughs> no, watch your program. You said I was a distraction initially, didn't you? No, baby, you are not distracting me. Calm, watch it with calm, me. Calm down. No, no, no. Did, did you see her? Look at how. <laughs> baby, watch the program. Baby, watch it with me. Watch, watch. See, see, did you see what that guy is doing? I am not interested in your program. Let me focus on the beautiful woman that just walked in here. Did you see how good looking she was? Did you? Did are you seeing how good looking me too? I look. Oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh. This woman is not ready to give up this fight. Huh? She's a fierce fighter. Hey. But you know what? I was born a fighter and there is no way I am going to lose this battle. It's not possible. I will lose. I will not. Nope. Hi, Pamela. Hi, how you doing? I'm fine, I'm fine. See, eh? There are some pictures I want to send to your phone. Yes, I'm going to send you some pictures on WhatsApp. Please, I need you to go through them and check if you have those things. I need you to send them to me. ASAP. It's important. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Ciao. This one that you have been working out and going to the gym, is it because of what I told you? Nah, don't try and dignify yourself. And uh, <laughs> I'm not pumping iron because of you. I'm doing it because of my new hot and sexy wife. You know. <laughs> Keep your ass here. <laughs> How are you? Then? Hmm? Fine. Yeah, looking all glam and all that. Mm -hmm. Want Papa to, you know, <laughs> hit you from behind? Baby. Or would you like sideways? Maybe. Oh, would I hit the 69, <laughs> man? <laughs> I got I got blinds on your creamy ass, you know. Look at you. Come on, bring it. You like it? Mm -hmm. Should I bring it on? 
<laughs> Time to lick you up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I was beginning to think you would not show up again. Oh, well, you know you're a very stubborn human being, but you're still my other brother. Welcome, Zeva, bro. <laughs> Let me get you a glass so you can do something. No, I'm fine now. Are you sure? No, I'm good, I'm good. Okay. Uh, so tell me, how has the life of polygamy been for you? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. That's a conversation for another day. Yes, hmm? <clears throat> yes. You sure you want to drink something? No, 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 it's fine. No. Okay. Yeah, it's because of this your big. Hey, God, it's because of this your big stomach, oh, because you're pregnant. If not, I would have beat you blue and black and take the remote from you. Jessica, pregnancy or no pregnancy, eh? I will beat you blue black if you try to engage me in a fight. Try it. Give me the remote. <laughs> Give it. Come back. Hi, God. Oh, give me a remote. Oh, hey. What, what is the matter with you? Can't you see she's pregnant? Hey, 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 hey. What exactly is going on here? Baby, she should not let me change the channel so that I can watch my own program. I was watching my program already. And it will soon be over. Can't you wait? Can't you have patience? Okay, now calm down. Hmm? What if by the time you're done watching your program, she would have missed some of the juicy parts of her own program. Hmm? What, what was that supposed to mean? Yeah, guys, yeah. Why are you so selfish and insensitive? <sighs> Why? Anyways, baby, you know me, I am a peaceful woman, mm -hmm. right? So I'm just going to watch the replay. But well, baby, why? Who is this handsome guy? That's my younger brother, Oza Chuku. Uh, Oza, meet Jessica. My new joy giver. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uzo, what is it? You guys are just meeting for the first time. This friction is not necessary. Alright, baby, come here, come here, come here. Baby. Hey. Baby, where did you go to? The, the woman did not allow me to change. Calm down, calm down. It's not every time that you pick a fight. Sometimes you've got to be diplomatic and you get what you're looking for. What are you doing? We have a guest. And I will not let him eat the poison that you cook. Today I will be okay. Ah. When did you start cooking in this house? Hmm? When did you start cooking? But I've been cooking since and you've been eating. Why haven't I poisoned you? That's your business. Today, you eat what you cook, and then they'll eat what me I cook. Excuse me. How come you're not interested in cooking? <laughs> eh? How come you're interested in cooking? You're not going to touch anything. Hey. Hmm. Hmm. You see this your stomach? Leave this kitchen. Leave my kitchen? Are you joking? Which I kitchen? should leave my kitchen. Which kitchen hey. is your kitchen? You're not all right. Though. If it was your kitchen, would he have brought me in? Get out of this place! Move. I said she... This one, I'm expecting your course of this thing in front of you. Get out of this place. Hey. <laughs> it's okay. No problem. I will allow you cook the nonsense you want to cook. This kitchen is big enough for everybody. I'm making you cook your poison. What <laughs> bitch? Uh -huh. You don't even know how to cook. That's your. They, see, that is why they have YouTube. I will learn how to cook. You're not ashamed of That's your business. As old as you are. No, 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 no. I'm making you go and cook your poison. The difference is I will learn for you. It's poison. You, your own is poison. Mm, thank you. How to cook rice. Shameless I... man. Avoid me. Mm -hmm. Cooking. Should I cook jello fries or coconut rice? Mm. You know, I didn't know you had cooking skills in you. <laughs> Baby, mm. which woman doesn't know how to cook? Is it because I let that your wife to cook all the time? Is it because I don't want to drag the kitchen with her? That's the only reason. Well, okay, that's very sweet and thoughtful of you. I respect that. Henceforth, I'll be doing the cooking for you. Okay. Nice, nice. Uh -uh. I thought it was a bono soup you were making. It's Yagazier that cooks that one. <laughs> and she's not joining us. Yagazier! 
Those are two people. Let her be. Huh? It's a choice to make. Let's eat. It's <laughs> delicious. <laughs> I think I'd rather join Yagazia to eat her obono soup. Mm. With your permission, Yagazia. Of course. When you left the room, I couldn't sleep. I was wondering where you were sneaking off to. Hey, thank God it's not a woman's room. <laughs> I haven't been able to sleep because I'm hungry. Eh, that's what you should have said. You should have told me you wanted to eat her own food. I'm not abandoning mine with the excuse of you are full. Listen, Jessica, hmm? I pretended that your food was nice so I don't hurt your feelings. Hmm? But if you want to know the honest truth, that rubbish Jollof rice you cook can destroy an entire nation. Baby, you don't need to exaggerate it, eh? Even me that cooked it, I knew it was terrible. Oh! Hey, I knew. And I also knew that you were trying to please me and protect me from Yagazi's mockery. Eh? Hmm? Hey, but baby, hmm? how does it taste? Very tasty. You see, pregnancy may have done other things to Yagazi, but it certainly did not remove her cooking skills. They are still top notch. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I'm coming, Moshma. You have to go and learn how to cook from your gazelle. Why are you wearing a pin to take you home? Half an hour. Hurry up before I finish it. No, baby, wait. I cannot finish it. So, this is where you escaped. Come on. Of course, it's nice. See you rushing the food like a refugee. What's your problem? At this point, I'm a refugee. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's no dog in this house. This is the handwork of one or two persons. <laughs> what do you mean by one or two among us? This is the handwork of someone who was eating hurriedly and, and carelessly. But seeing how much the soup produced and how many meats that are missing, this is, this is the handwork of more, more than one person. <coughs> Thank God all of you saw me cook my own food. Hmm? And all of you saw me eat what my wife cooked. Wait, hold on. Why don't you ask Ozo? I think we're the last person that went into the kitchen to get soup for himself. Were we not all here when I joined her to eat her own food? <laughs> so, uh, is there a ghost in this house? Who are you asking? I mean, how can you even believe that I, I, I'm responsible for anything that happened to that soup? Don't mind your brother. I know you're not the one. Hmm? 
It is either him or that wild concubine, or both of them. Do you love my brother? Do you still love him? I have never stopped loving him. But the presence of that Jezebel keeps turning everything around. I don't want to be sidelined or thrown out of my matrimonial home because of a woman. No, I, 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 I'm just trying to be tough. But I break down every day. Look, you have to be strong. I know that my brother has never loved any other woman the way he loves you. No, I, I don't, I'm not sure about that. I mean, he, he takes her sides every time. I don't know what to do anymore. I, I think it's my problem. I, I, I let my condition get the best part of me. And now I'm, I'm, I'm losing my husband. No, you have not lost him. I think he just needs to come back to his senses. And then as for you, you just have to keep being a good wife. Look your best for him since that's what he likes. Hmm? Thank you. this two possibly be talking about? Blame Yagazie. Uzo is really hot, and besides, if he can't sleep with his elder brother's wife, what stops him from giving me the national cake? A couple more workouts and that belly of yours is going to disappear. Yeah, I really hope so. <sighs> so tell me, mm. which of the women is motivating you to work out once again? <laughs> uh, Jessica, of course. You know, that's a big fat lie. <laughs> I know you. You never take so much time to say the truth. So I know you're lying. Okay, yeah, you've read me like an open book. You know me too well, then. I mean, I lived with you for 22 years in the same house. What do you expect? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, brother. Why do you treat Yagazier the way you do? Why do you always mm -hmm. take sides with Jessica even when you know she's wrong? Wonder. Mm -hmm. Just for peace to reign. From all indications, the peace is not reigning. Obviously, there's no peace for a polygamous man. She doesn't deserve all these things. I mean, that lady is struggling to be strong in her marriage, for herself, for you, and for the baby in her stomach. And deep inside her, she's actually tearing apart. Well, she, she told you all these things? She didn't have to. Each time I look at her, I see a good swimmer who the forces of the river 
are threatening to drown, but, but she's struggling to stay afloat by all means. Come on. Come on. Baby, baby, baby. Yeah, what was it? Baby, come and see. My tummy is beginning to show. Hmm. Yeah, I can see that. Baby, please. I wouldn't want to still be single by the time my tummy starts showing. What will I tell my colleagues? <laughs> what will I tell my colleagues? You have already resigned from your workplace. So do you owe them any explanation? Besides, most of them dislike you anyway. Yes, I know. But there are a few that don't judge me. At least I would like them to see that I'm married to you and also expecting a baby. Hmm. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. It's not a nice thing to say. Babe, hmm? I'm not speaking Swahili. In very simple English, there is no point rushing anything. There's no point. Allow these things to take its natural course, nice and slow. Eventually, everything will work out perfectly and plans will fall into place. Hey! Enjoy your meal. Stay with me. Please. <laughs> no, I can't. I don't want your concubine to come downstairs and see us. Don't bother about her. She's asleep. I should not bother about her. Of course I want to stay with you. But I don't want to do it like a wanted criminal. So enjoy your meal. What's going on? I don't know, but there is something about marriage and bright prize. Oh. Welcome. Ah. Thank you for coming to my rescue this morning. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. I hope you didn't get into trouble at work. No, I didn't. I was this close. 
But I was able to meet up with uh, the staff meeting being coordinated by the CEO. That man is desperately looking for who to sack, but I escaped by the whiskers. Wow. So, thank you once again. Thank God. One minute. Babe? What is it? Baby. Kicking harder than usual. Uh -oh. mm. You are almost due, right? A couple of weeks more. Oh. Mm. You know, you're going to make the sweetest mother on earth. And I mean it. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, did I do something or say something wrong? No. There's no problem. Okay. It's just that it's, it's been long we've been this close. <sighs> I have missed you. I know you drink, but I also know when you're not drinking out of pleasure. Kadifa Hmm. Am I not the most stupid man? Hmm? No, am I not the most foolish man alive? Trading a good woman for that desperate whore in there just because of my stupid obsession with physical appearance and good looks. Oh, brother, I'm sorry, but I think I'll have to agree with you on that one. That you're the most foolish man alive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, you see, Jessica was supposed to be some sort of temporary distraction, you know, more like a one night stand. But right now, she doesn't even want to be temporary anymore. And I don't blame her. It's all my fault because I led her on. Because hmm? I was constantly telling her how much I loved her and how I want to spend the rest of my life with her. That means hmm. she's literally just fighting for her right. Of course. You see, I, I don't want to be an irresponsible man to her and her unborn child. And at the same time, I don't want to continue treating Yagazie badly. She doesn't deserve it. Huh? Now, here's the crazy thing. When Jessica moved in here huh, and started losing all that glitz, glamour and razzmatazz, that's when I finally realized just how stupid I had been. Let me even ask you. Why did you marry Yagazie? Was it because of her curves, her hotness? I mean, was it because of her physical looks generally? Uh, I can't even remember now. But yeah, Yagazi is a beautiful woman. She has a nice body and all that. But Jessica is the one with more dangerous curves and all that. But deep down, hmm, I love Yagazi. I love her a lot more than if I don't even love that other idiot. You love Yagazia, yeah? yet you found her repulsive when she could no longer look hot and sexy for you because she's pregnant. <sighs> Do you even have an idea what pregnancy does to women? Do you realize that all those 
fancy celebrity photo shoots that you see online are just for the social media and they are actually over edited plus they are heavy makeups. Hmm. Do you know what their husbands may be going through living with them in the same house? <sighs> well, um, I think I agree that um, Yagazie did not respond well to the changes in her body, which of course is a subconscious thing. But that is not enough reason for you to abandon her and neglect her to the point of running after another woman. You now see why I said that I am the most stupid man alive. Well, this is the time for you to stop being foolish and man up and clean up your mess. And then, whiskey is not going to do that for you. Mm. You know, mm. it is easier said than done, but how do you man up when two women are pregnant for you? Jessica, what is wrong with you? Oh, my tummy is biting me. My tummy is biting me. Okay, uh, let me go and call my brother. He just left for work. No, 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 no. Don't call him. He's too far. Uh, okay, um, so what do I do? Just take me to the hospital. Take me to the hospital. Oh. Uh, hospital? Hospital. Oh okay, God. let's go to the Okay. Uh, uh, hey. Uh, uh, really heavy. What are you doing? I promise. I'm going to give you a very nice BJ. I swear, I'm going to enjoy it more than your guys' please. Hey. What, what nonsense are you saying? I'm not doing anything with Yagas here. Please, 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 don't, don't say no to me. Don't leave this pregnant to my mom, please. Have please. you gone out of your senses? Do you know you're my brother's? You're my... I, I don't even know what you owe to my brother, but... And you're still pregnant. Hey, pregnancy is not a barrier. Huh? No, don't do that. It's not a barrier. Come. Hey. Jessica, hey. have you gone out of your mind? What is the meaning of this whole nonsense? See, see this picture? If you don't have sex to have sex with me, I'm going to show it to Ephraim. How dare Show you from what? <laughs> see? He said if I don't delete this picture and have sex with him, he's going to kill me. See? What? Who's that, Chuku? What is the meaning of this? Pray, don't tell me you, you believe her. She's lying! Bro, don't tell me you believe all the lies that your concubine is telling you. Shut up, Uzo Chuku. I am most disappointed in you. And in you too, Yagazia. Just when I was beginning to soften up for you. Huh? Uzo, is this why you usually come around here? Are you serious? What is wrong with you? What has this witch given you to drink? I take an exception to that. I could understand you saying that I tried to seduce you, but on no account should you call me a witch. Okay, that's enough, that's enough. Calm down, calm down. Don't let you know your temperament affect your pregnancy, okay? Okay, baby. Welcome. Right now, I don't want to ever see the two of you in this house again. So please, move everything you have and leave. Bro, I don't even have a problem with you chasing me away from your house or even forbidding me from coming here anymore. But your pregnant wife who is almost due for delivery, she too? And how am I sure the pregnancy doesn't belong to you? You are the biggest disappointment in the history of disappointments in this world. I don't care what you think of me, the door. Now. Laugh is always the longest. <laughs> Ew. 
I only pack the things I got for myself. Tell him that the things he got for me, I left them behind. Mm -hmm. See, you know, victory is very sweet, and I know you're dying to taste it. <laughs> My boy, <laughs> you see, two of you, you're very good together, and you fit, you make a perfect match. <laughs> you did not just break a marriage, you tampered with blood as well. And I hope that Nemesis hits you hard and so mercilessly. Oh, great. You, should I come and help you open the door? <laughs> What kind of stupid apology is that? Huh? I not old enough to know what to do. Don't you know when not to throw up? Ah, no, no, baby, 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 baby. Ah, what is it? Ah, don't you know the sight of that liquid milk can be nauseating? How am I supposed to know? Did you ever tell me? Did you? See, I have already apologized to you. And if you're not okay with the apology, Uncle, I beg, go and hug Transformer. No wonder somebody once said that all that glitters isn't gold. <laughs> Baby, are you saying something? You finish watching this your football match before I watch my own program, eh? <sighs> What is the matter with you, Jessica? Eh? Take this stupid bucket and leave my sight. Yeah, no. Ha, please, now. It's stressful for me to be bending down. My tummy is paining me. It's best to stay here for some time, yeah? I'm sorry. <sighs> that guy's here was nasty, but you're worse. Are you comparing me to that local wife of yours? Eh? Local is what you call her, but as sophisticated as you are, you're no different from a freaking pigsty. Hmm. So, you want me to be bending down to speed so that I'll kill our unborn baby? Is that what you want? You know what? I'm out of here. Can spit all day. Ah. Uh, Baby, I mean, let me watch my own program. Hmm.
I won't come, babe. Oh. When was the last time these bed sheets were washed? Hmm? Because from what I can see, there are patches of your drool from over two weeks. Ephraim, as you can see, I am tired. And I do not have the energy for your tantrums. Oh, tantrums you call it, eh? You know the truth, your laziness is legendary. You cannot take care of the house, you cannot cook, and worst of all, you can't even take care of yourself. Are you blind? Can't you say I am pregnant? Oh, really? You're behaving like this when the pregnancy is at this stage. What will now happen when it's advanced and your tummy is bigger? What will happen? Hey, God. Ephraim, please, I am begging you. Eh? I need a house help. That's all you. I need a, I need a house help, okay? Thank you. House uh, help will only encourage you to be lazy. All right, let me spell it out. A house help might cook for you, hmm? clean, probably do a few errands for you, but a house help will not give you a bath. A house help will not brush your teeth. A house help will certainly not take care of your hair. While the house help might do a few things for you, there are things you're supposed to do for yourself that a house help cannot do. Things you must do for yourself. See, it's obvious you want me to leave this room for you. And that is what I'm going to do. After all the stupid promises, just two months, I'll be two and a half months of pregnancy. The whole place looks like a pigsty. I found out. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> that's a <laughs> that's a nice one, nice one, nice one. We do it. No problems. I'll call you later. Dalo. Is this the new style or something? <laughs> you see, now that you are fully awake, we need to talk. Talk about what? The truth. What truth? I know the truth about what transpired between you and my brother, who's a true one. God, God, God. Are we moving forward or backward, eh? There is no progress in lies, my dear. You see, that day, I was at the door. I was listening to every single thing you people were discussing in here. Hmm? Everything. From how you tried to lure him into having sex with you, to also trying to blackmail him into having sex with you because of some harmless pictures. Please. You, you were outside? Mm-hmm. You were, you were listening. Like I said, Jessica, I heard everything. You see, I was already on the journey to clean up my mess. Hmm? Hmm. Sending my wife, Yagazia, and my brother, Uzo, packing was all part of the plan to strategically rearrange my life. Uzo, do you trust me? I do, brother. Good. Now, I need you to take Yagazi to your apartment hmm? and stay with her there. I've already transferred money into your account. Hmm? Use that money and take good care of her. I 
on yourself. Hmm? I need to clean out the air around here. Hmm? Purify this place of all the dirt and impurity. After then, you can bring her back. How long is this expected to take? Uh, honestly, I cannot tell precisely, but I need that stupid Jessica to think that she has won. Hmm? When that happens, she'll drop her guard and I'll... Leela. Hmm? It's okay. Good. Eh, if you are expecting an apology from me, you better kill that expectation because you are going to get none. <laughs> Too late, my dear. Your apologies don't make any sense at this point in time. Like I said, I don't care. Hmm? You see, Yagazier has given me a beautiful daughter. So next Father's Day will not miss me at all. Right now, I'm too happy, too excited, you know, with the things happening in my life to bother about your stupid apologies. You see, this last few days, hmm, I've had the privilege of doing some deep thinking. And I've convinced myself that Yagazier is the only woman that I love. And that was why I never made any move to marry you properly, which you should have figured out if you were smart. Hmm? So, for your information, my dear, Yagazie is coming back in full regalia to take her place as the landlady of this home. So what I expect you to do is move your things out and accord her the respect that she deserves. Hmm? And I'm only being merciful to you because of the child of God. Let me hear a word. <laughs> merciful. Who wants your stupid mercy? You do. Hanegi! Anyway, look at you. In your mind, you think you're special. Well, let me tell you, for the past few days I have been in this house, I have come to realize that, you know that thing they call, you are what I ordered versus what I got. <laughs> that is what you are. Ephraim, you, you are beneath me. Indeed. Talk is cheap, <laughs> but actions speak louder than words. Like I said, I don't care. I'm only going to say this once. Get your things out of this room before I come back. And if you know me by now, you should know that I never make empty threats. Rubbish. Fats me. My friends, my family, everyone that judged and criticized me for settling with another woman's husband. <sighs> but I cannot let Yagazi to come back here and meet me. I can't. She will laugh at me. And Huh. Her own laughter will be so painful and it will pierce my heart. God. Must do something. Does it look like nothing has changed? Well, uh, 
Apart from Jessica's absence, everything is still pretty much the same. So how is the search for her going? Mm, so far, nothing. She hasn't been found. You know, looks like she just vanished into thin air. I made some frantic efforts to reach out to her family, but still, no traces. I don't know. The only time I ever think about her is, you know, thoughts that she's still, you know, carrying my child, assuming the child is even my own in the first place. Sorry, baby. Wow, she's beautiful. Just like her mother. Hey. You know, we'll definitely make more children together. Beautiful children. No, 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 no. Not after my experience. After everything I went through with this one, I almost lost my husband. Yeah, and uh, I deeply regret a lot of the things that happened, but look me in the eyes when I say this, I swear on everything that I hold dear. None of that will ever happen again. I've realized my mistakes and I'm not willing to tread that path again. Honestly. Hey, mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at you. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 As stunning, gorgeous, and as ravishing as the first day that I laid eyes on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are your sweet poetic words. Isn't that part of why you love me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know that? Mm -hmm. Look at you. So where's mm -hmm. Mama? Well, she's in the car out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Shall we? Mm-hmm. Anna, okay. Oh, yeah. Please. There will be so much time for Romeo and Juliet to be nice for now. Well. Yes, of course. A silly man. <laughs> huh? No, no, silly boy. God, well, no. God, well, no.